What's going on, mobile gamers? As you can see, I have root access on my Odin 2. So let's jump in and verify why this will be good for your device. In the land of Android, we have what is called root access or rooting your Android device. Some people don't know what the benefits are of that and why you would want to do that. Some do because they've been doing it for years like I have. And rooting your device, like an Android device that is, is basically like saying, this is my device now. I have paid 500 to to $1,000 or even more on this device, and I can do whatever I want with it. Just like when you buy a computer, you can basically deep access all your files and folders and everything inside of your device that you can't normally do when it comes to Android. At least not any newer Androids or any Androids in North America, that is, because the companies that lock them down are a little bit scummy. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, what does rooting do? One thing you can do is you can uninstall applications like these ones that don't let you actually uninstall them. So if you go in here, we can't actually disable it or uninstall it or get rid of it. But with root access, we could technically get rid of the music app with the or the calendar app or the sound recorder app or the Odin launcher. Any of these apps we could get rid of and just have whatever apps we want to have on here by default. Now, that was very beneficial for any devices that used to have a lot of bloatware like Samsung, for example. And that's one big feature that you can do. Another big feature is flashing custom firmware. Now, I'm not going to flash any custom firmware on this today, but right now there's a team on Discord that is actually flashing uh, Linux on these devices. And you can actually go ahead and actually follow the guide and flash Linux on it. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comment section below because I might flash the base model with Linux and see what the benefits are of this thing. The next thing. That's relatable to gaming. You can access folders that you cannot normally access. Somebody said to me on the Discord, can't you go into Zed Archiver and access the main directory that you can't normally access inside of your device with all of these folders right here? Sure you can. But can you actually go into the secret folder that has all of the data for your game files it's called Datamir? No, you can't. Not with Zed Archiver at least. So there is an application called Root Explorer, and that application allows you to navigate through all of these secret folders. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to go down to my top directory. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And these are all of the secret folders that we can normally never access. And there's a lot of information in here that we can actually take from this. For example, I have Minecraft installed on this. I have a whole bunch of Minecraft worlds that I've copied over from my computer onto the internal storage on my device. Now, if you go into Minecraft, which I'm going to do and show you this right now, I don't have any worlds in here. I just have a random Minecraft I downloaded from the internet as well because I'm not logged into Google Play at the time. So yeah, I have no worlds in here. But if I close this out, I grab all of these worlds right here. here let me copy all of them, not just the one. Click copy. I can go to the specific directory that I know where it is, at least, which is inside of our Datamir folder, our Data CE folder, null, zero. And then if we scroll down to look for com.mojang, which is all the way down, all the way down, let's keep looking. There it is right there. We cannot normally see this folder. Now we can go into files, or not files, let me double check where it is here. Games, com.mojang and Minecraft Worlds, I'm gonna paste all of those files inside of that directory. Now these are all the folders that I have from my computer. So if you have any backup saves on your computer or something or on another device, you can technically get access to every folder on your device. This isn't just good for copying worlds either. So if you have map packs, you have skins, all that kind of stuff that you can normally never copy directly to Minecraft, for example. And I know, yes, you can Try to back up and save your Minecraft worlds with that .mcpe, I think, or extension. I've done that before, but sometimes that doesn't fully work. 
So right now what I'm doing is just copying all these fi files older, over and there's lots of them of course. So this is very good for even game saves which I'm going to show you next. So this is rooting your device again right. So rooting gives you access, full access to do whatever you want with your device. But you need to be careful. Rooting your device is a task where you need to follow the steps word for word. Don't skip any steps. Don't go over and skim any steps. Follow everything directly the way it occurred on screen. So basically, if it says jump through a hoop, then jump through a hoop. Don't skip that part and think that you know what you're doing. Even me with rooting so many devices in the past, my last device that I rooted was my Samsung Note 5. I never skipped any device or any steps. I didn't know what I was doing because I had a basic idea of what I was doing, but rooting it was very tedious and something that you still need to follow the steps that somebody else wrote out for you or wrote out for you to actually do it. And how I did this. I spent about half a day while we're waiting for this to copy over because there's lots of files there. I spent about half a day trying to do this on Windows. I could not, for the life of me, get this working on both of my Windows machines. I have an old laptop that's about a decade old. I have another computer that's my main one that I'm recording on right now that is un not even two years old, and I could not, for the life of me, get it to work on Windows. So I grabbed another old laptop that I had, and I installed Ubuntu. And that was actually very easy. Installing Ubuntu wasn't hard at all. I just basically followed the steps again that somebody else showed me how to install it, even though I already know how to install other software or other uh, operating systems and stuff. I still followed a guide. <laughs> so let's go to play beta. And there are all those worlds that I just copied over. So I have my Skyblock world. I have just random world, Mr. DNA Survival. Just random worlds that I copied over from my computer. Normally you couldn't do that. Unless you, of course, went to the one setting where you use the external storage. And even then, it's hard to copy any of your files over. So you can basically gain access to anything. Now, the next thing, like I said, game saves. So I have GTA 5 in, or GTA 3 in here. Not GTA 5. And I had to kind of go through these folders and kind of guess which one was which. And that wasn't it. And that's what I'm doing right now. I think it's UR5 five game face saved yeah so there's the save games folder right there so if you want to see that on screen this is where the save games would be located so if i load up this game yes this game is a hacked version of it i don't have netflix and i don't ever plan to pay for netflix because i think netflix is coming too so that being said after netflix got rid of network sharing your account with your family or your friends we stopped using it and we don't care to use it again unless they change the price plan because it's a waste of time. So there you go. So we have the start game options. Now I've already backed up my save. So if I exit this game completely, I'm going to close it all out. I'm going to go into my folder. Actually, I'm going to go to home. I have my folders in my documents, my GTA save in my save games folder. And that's my save from yesterday. So I'm going to go back home again. I'm going to go all the way to the directory that I know where this location is. And I was just a quick little Google search of trying to find this. And I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find that package name. And that's what this is called. It's just a package. These are just com.android.providers.user directory. That's just a package name for the actual app or the game. And if you know anything about coding, then you would understand that. Otherwise, I wouldn't even worry about understanding it. So as you can see here, there's no files in here anymore. And that's because I didn't load anything up. Oh, and I also went into the wrong directory. So data.ce and all, and that's, a, that's the thing. You got to make sure you go into the right directory. So it's got nothing to do with anything loading. So let's go all the way over. Let's go all the way over and keep going, keep going. Until we find it, there's no search option that I can see when you're trying to copy and paste stuff at least. And there it is right there. So files, I think, is what we found. Was it engine? Saved? Crashes? No, we did the same thing last time. Game face, game face, saved, GTA saves, paste it. And that was pretty quick. It's only 144 kilobytes. Now if I go back into the game, let it load up and do its thing, my game saves will be in there. So let's keep going in. Let's just 
go through the menu. I've only played a little bit of the, the beginning of this game. I remember playing the crap out of GTA 3 back in the day. But now we don't have to go through the intro. And there's the resume option. And we can jump right into the game save that we backed up. And this could be good for multiple reasons. So maybe you want to back up a game save to a friend. Maybe a friend's going to play your game. Or maybe you want to skip the intro and you want to just do a game save where it skips the intro of the game and just get started with playing and then they can just continue off where you left off at the beginning or maybe hacked game saves or whatever so that's basically rooting in a nutshell that's all i'm gonna say about it because i'm gonna do a tutorial about this if you guys want me to of how i did it showing ubuntu and everything in the process of it otherwise have a nice day. Enjoy gaming. Little kind of education for you for Friday before the weekend. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video because it's going to be all about Yuzu and how to use every feature in the latest version of Yuzu. Bye! -bye.